Welcome, welcome back to the Rock On videos, guys. We are running the biggest giveaway so far on our website, bogrushperformance.com, where you can win this brand new KTM 125 Duke, and you can enter by purchasing or an ebook for nine euros, or each purchase over 175 euros gets you an automatic one entry. It runs between September and end of December. Good luck, guys. Today, we're gonna see how fast the Super Duke, the beast, can be around the track because so far we did a lot of drifting with it a lot of high speed wheelies and a lot of stoppies but we never took time this season to see how fast it can be around our local racetrack the linda ring and how fast we've been so far what's the fastest lap or not? i think it was 47 seconds but not with this bike of course Wh which one we did the 890 duke r exactly yeah with that bike i felt really good on that racetrack super fast around the corners and yeah let's see if the 180 horsepower makes a big difference on that little track before we do that let me show you the current setup i have on the super duke evo so today our base is the brand new ktm 1290 super duke evo with 180 plus horsepower and listen to that 140 newton meters of torque not only his uh, raw power makes it so special but also the next level electronic that comes with a bike such as mtc adjustable traction control and adjustable abs modes and you can take advantage of all these rider aids and be faster around the track easily and another cool feature that i would like to point out that comes with that bike is the semi-active suspension from vp and with the push of a button you can choose between different stiffnesses so from uh, comfortable to a street and also to a ready to race stiffness so that's exactly the one that we're going to use today and now to the upgrades of the beast as you can clearly see this blue nice is a titanium and it's a full system from Austin Racing, the RS22. It adds a nice tone to the bike. But most importantly, the performance. We adjusted the fueling. That's why I said 180 plus horsepower. We changed also the brake setup. Not that the original bikes come with bad brakes. The Brembo setup is amazing. But those are my sponsors and this is the setup that I run on all my bikes and I'm used to that feeling. So we added the Haze Reflex 32 calipers, a Motomaster flame discs and for the Brake Master we changed to the front of FMC 630 brake pump that is radial and has adjustable brake feel. And now to the most important upgrade, the tires. Doesn't matter if you are riding on the the street on a racetrack you always should have the right tire so today i chose this hyper sport tires from avon they are newly developed on a racetrack this 3d super sports and they said that it has a special silicon mix special tread so it should keep me really good on the track and this is what the paper says so let's see if this is true and we're gonna see later on how they perform Okay, all set up. I got my phone ready. Rock, how you feeling? I'm warmed up and yeah, I hope the tires are warmed up today. It's pretty cold, but I have a good feeling, man. I can do it. Three, two, one. Okay, into first corner. Breaking in. up good last corner okay accelerate yes, poker face did I you do it did it man yeah the new time is 46.92 yeah man just barely <laughs> I definitely need more practice on the beast I think we could go even faster tires were working good I just need more practice on the beast but we still made a new record man we didn't finish yet now it's time to see how quick the 140 newton meters of torque can accelerate from 0 to 200 so i definitely need to switch on the anti-wheelie mode because this bike wants to wheelie in any gear so let's put on the helmet and let's go full throttle 
Anti-wheelie mode on, definitely. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh my god, that's a freaking thrill man, this bike is pulling, you see I can't even speak when I'm accelerating, I'm just hold on the handlebars and let do the bike do the work and oh my god. New lap record guys, the beast did it in 46.92 seconds. I could do it a bit faster if I would have more time to practice, but it is what it is. I would say about the Beast, it's definitely a bike to have the most fun on the racetrack. It always pull out of the corner with his torque. It's unbelievable. It always wants to wheelie, the raw power. It just makes so much fun. Definitely the Beast is one of my favorite bikes, not only for wheelie and drifts, but also for racing. And I said that we're gonna check in the end how the tires look and how did they perform. So let's see. An easy decision, the Avon 3 Super Sport, my favorite street tire. I've been trying it out now for the past months on the streets with my KTM 89 Duke R and now for the first time on the racetrack. It's a hyper sport tire, which means it has a softer compound and it's not made for longevity, but I prefer grip and safety than longevity. And I need to say really, I was shocked how much grip this tire has, uh, not only now on the racetrack, but also on the streets. It's definitely my favorite tire. Good job guys from Avon, double thumbs up. A new lap record on Linda Ring with the Beast. So let me know in the comments below, which bike should we test next time and try to beat that time and don't forget about the big giveaway the ktm 125 duke can be yours just visit bogersperformance.com and find out how see you in the next one until then rock on